So bokashi is Japanese and it means fermented organic matter. It allows you to take something that was looked at as a waste, but then your eyes are seeing it as a nutrient dense ability to, to add to your compost. We then begin to close the loop and we look at nothing as waste. We only just, we haven't figured out how to direct it just yet. So that's what I like about Bokashi. It allows me to take things off of, out of the garbage and, and into the and, and into the into the system here. And that was the secret to Terra Preta. There was nothing that, that didn't make it into the Terra Pretas, into the Terra Preta pit. And that was a, that resulted into hundreds of thousands of people being able to live sustainably on the banks of a river. All of our, our cities and our towns so that the bio the biomass and the waste isn't just being tossed out into landfills but it's actually being implemented in a way that says yeah we are going to stay here and we're going to produce food very clean and for our for ourselves and for our children and our grandchildren and, and that's that's where we're at today so when we take these microbes and we're able to culture them in, in consortia you can see where it just betters their chances of survival on the farm so it's not that i want you to take away from don't stop buying microbes if you're buying them, but just kind of think about culturing things together. Think about the togetherness that's already taken place in some of your vineyards and orchards, the healthy parts, and some of your potters, and then try to culture that, culture those guys out. Get them into the carbon, get them into the charcoal, and give them the home that they deserve, the long-term home they deserve. And I think that's that's how we honor these, these little guys. And as I said, you, you begin doing it like that, and then you don't, you culture microorganisms for 17 years like I've done. You know, they're just, they're your buddies. You don't go to work without them. They're just, it's part of the crew. Not only that, when you're done working, those guys are still working 24 hours, nonstop. And that whole communi communication with microbes is, fascinates me because who knows, are they help? are they telling me what the plant needs to survive? And that whole just relationship with the soil is just fun to think about. And most of this is imagination. If you don't have imagination in this trade, then you can't dream up the next thing. So always use that imagination muscle and wonder like, what microbes are there? You know, when you're by that creek and by the river, think about putting some of that dirt in your pocket when you see that dragonfly and then you see the trout. Cause you know, you know that that's a good place. And then you bring that back to your farm, right? And you culture that. I think that that beautiful feeling has to get into the dirt and it has to get into the plants. And I, that's, a kind of, that's the kind of medicine I hope that we create and the plants we create here at the farm is plants that resonate all of those places that are so intimate with me. And I can't just tell you about them all now, but when you use the flowers or you eat the crops, you just makes you wonder who grew that and what did they do to make it that way? And the, the fruits begin to teach you. They teach you in a very, very subtle way. But you quiet, you know, you quiet your mind and then you, you, you begin to observe these lessons and they complex so beautiful.